Oh, 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 I am so feeling this lip gloss and to think it is below 300. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. One of the best lip gloss, better than Fenty, and that's saying something. Hello, my beauties, welcome back to my channel. We have a Nykaa haul, and it's been forever since I've done a Nykaa haul. I don't even remember, I think it's been what? A year, two years, I'm not too sure because most of the time things are sent to me and I just do a collective what not to buy, what to buy. But I have not gone and bought things with my own money for a very long time and that too from Nykaa. Uh, Nykaa definitely has changed where customer service is concerned. I get my things quicker and they do come back to me. Now I don't know whether it's because I'm a content creator and because of that position that they get back to me quickly. I don't know. Guys, leave your feedback because the last time we did a Nika complaint video, it was all about quality control. But recently I have been getting things that I can't complain about. Nothing. I mean, everything has been quite good where quality is concerned. Actually, I did not pick up many of the things during their Pink Friday or Hot Pink, whatever pink that they have. During that sale time, I did not pick up the stuff. I picked up randomly things because I'm leaving for UK very soon. I know I've been saying that for a very long time, but this time I'm really leaving for good. So I wanted to pick up a few things, stock up on a few things, which you'll only get from Nykaa. Um, every other website really needs to step up. And I get asked this question so many times. Do you still have a problem with Nykaa? No, I don't. I never had a problem with Nykaa. I don't have a problem with Nykaa. Uh, does Nykaa have a problem with me? That I don't know. But for now, I'm very happy getting my stuff and reviewing it for you, telling you guys what to buy, what not to buy. And that will still continue in the future also, even if I work with Nykaa. That assurance I can give you. They always have a sale, so there shouldn't be any FOMO. You should pick exactly what you need, what you require, what you will use completely. So let me take you across some beautiful finds. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you guys. It's the festive season. There's a lot of giveaway happening on my channel. You have to make sure that you hit the red button. I'm randomly picking people and sending them gifts. I'm also throwing in giveaways in my videos, in my monthly favorites and various other videos. I just want to say thank you in my own way, you know, for all the love and support. And don't forget to follow me at Shweta Vijaynaya, which is my Instagram account. So this video is not sponsored. It's just a haul video with a little feedback added into the mix so that it'll make shopping a lot more easier. Let's start. All right, I have taken off my lipstick because I've got a few lipsticks that I bought from Nykaa. I was looking at a lipstick in the affordable range as well as the high-end range. And the first one is this matte lip color, long-lasting sugar pop. Now, I don't know if sugar has changed to sugar pop right now. So sugar pop looks very similar to color pop. Same packaging, the price range is concerned. It's below 500, very few are within the 500, 600 range. Very much like the color pop thing. So it's making me go, hmm very innovative but i did like this color called 13 magenta and usually this brand makes amazing lipstick extremely pigmented their lip crayons are to die for even their bullet lipsticks all great uh, but their liquid lipsticks are, have always been very very drying and apparently this new formulation is supposed to be uh, non-drying well we'll just check it out oh my god this is vibrant Wow, that is a vibrant pink. It looks dark right now, but as it's drying, I can see it getting a little magenta neon pink. So if you are looking out for that really bright magenta neon pink for shadi season, festive season, this is a great color. I can definitely sense the lipstick sitting on my lips and making its presence felt like, hey, I'm here but it's not as drying because most sugar lipstick, immediately you can sense the lipstick. This has that very subtle sense of presence <laughs> on the lips. Let's do the transfer test. That dried up immediately and yeah, it is transfer proof. Um, quite affordable. They've got such amazing, beautiful shades at the same time. So yeah, that's the first purchase where lipsticks are concerned. What do you think? Let me know. That was tough to remove and it left a stain on my mouth. I had to cancel uh, the color because I have another lipstick. Now, this is from Rene, Rene Cosmetics and this is the Madness pH stick. So it's a lip balm that is black in color let me just show you how it is black black as my soul and when it goes on the lips it just plays around with your 
chemistry, the body chemistry or the pH or whatever it is and changes the color of it. So I have tried this because I did a reel based on this and you know what? I really, really liked it. Now, I feel that this is not good for extremely pigmented lips. You won't see much of a difference. I thought it would be a bit of a gimmick, but you know what? I really love it. I think this works. I just gave it a four out of five on reels only because like I said, for pigmented lips, not as much. So it goes black. So let me just show you how it is. So on days that you know you don't want to apply any lipstick, can you see that? It just changed the color of my lips. Because I did notice that even when the film of hydration leaves your lips, that pink tone still remains, you know? So that's what I love about it. It's not like on your face pink, a nice baby pink is working on my lips because it's working with my body chemistry, the pH. Um, you know, it's working around with the lip pigmentation of mine. So, <laughs> but there are other tinted lip balms maybe you can reach out for. So this is not like a necessary product. It's a fun product to have. And let me just take this out for you. There's hardly any transfer and I like the pink tone that it has left on my lips if, despite the hydration leaving it. So I prefer this than a glossy balmy lip balm. And you can even apply this over any lipstick. It didn't break down any of the lipstick. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this purchase. All right, so I got this uh, always on mini matte duo from Smashbox. Now Smashbox liquid lipstick. I love the pigmentation. I love the comfort that it gives. It's been my favorite liquid lipstick for a very long time, but I've noticed that the big quantity one dries up so quickly. Let me know if any one of y'all have faced it because I know I put the same thing on Insta story and I got so many DMs saying that me too, you know, my lipstick dried up so quickly. Of course, you can revive it with any reviver. I have my favorite reviver liquid formulation from makeupempire.in. It comes from the brand Just Gold and I'll leave the link in the information bar. Check it out. It revives anything. I loved these two shades. These two have always been my favorite shade along with Stepping Out. Uh, but I saw this in offer and I thought let me just pick this one up because it's small size. So that way my heart won't be broken if this dries up because I know I will use it up completely. It's very travel friendly. Just put this in the handbag and you get uh, two shades out of this and the two shades that I got is driver seat uh, which is a warm pink and uh, disorderly which is a deep brick red and I know I made a reel as well as YouTube shots on it and and it did extremely well. I love disorderly because it's that warm brick red color. These small little ones that I have only seen at Nykaa so I don't know whether this is exclusive to Nykaa or exclusive to Smashbox India in general because I've not seen this in the UK and that is why I picked up the small ones because it'll last me better. I get my money's worth. Let's start swatching. I'm going with driver's seat first. These colors are very opaque, you know, one swipe saturated color is what you get. Extremely pigmented and very comfortable. Now, this is not as long lasting like a sugar uh, lipstick liquid matte or a plum liquid matte. And I guess extremely drying lipstick have a tendency of, you know, lasting better than the ones that are very, very comfortable. I'm not complaining. This is such a beautiful very warm pink brown, more of a peachy brown. Whereas disorderly, you can wear this with a smoky eye makeup, a glam eye makeup, because this will catch attention. What a unique, beautiful color it is. Just get this set, you guys, because you can definitely make this one work. Even driver's seat, you can mix it up with disorderly and get your own unique color going on your lips. Or if you have someone that's of fair to medium complexion, you can gift driver's seat and you can keep disorderly if you've got a deeper, darker complexion. But I just feel that this duo, this set in general, is something that you can pick up and worth the money. But talking about lipstick, I've got two more lipsticks to show you, which is right now available at Nykaa. And I got this from an internet international makeup uh, insta store uh, they sent me so many makeup you guys international makeup which i wanted to you know do a whole proper review which i shall and this was sent to me about a month ago and in that was the Maybelline vinyl. They sent me two shades and I don't know why I never did a swatch because you know it was not launched here in India and I thought what's the use of me talking about something which you won't even get your hands on and it's quite expensive by the time you ship it over here. But now Maybelline vinyl is 
available at Nika. I have tried this, you guys, and it's not one of my favorite formula, to be honest. That Sky High Mascara, I'm a huge fan of. When I got this in my Superdrug PR box, it's a very, it's a mascara that gives you length, not the volume, but the length. And even if you've got really small lashes, it'll still show up. And I, it's very lightweight, you know, so I love it. Um, I know many people are going to want to buy this because this also went completely viral on TikTok as well as on Reels because this liquid lipstick is like a gloss. So it gives you that gloss kind of shine, not like, you know, that complete glass kind of an effect, a very nice vinyl effect, uh, a slight glossy sheen it gives you which is quite innovative for a liquid lipstick to give you that. Actually, NYX have this, uh, the vinyl liquid lipsticks. NYX came out with it, uh, but it wasn't long lasting and this one just sticks to your lips. Um, it's okay. I do love the Maybelline liquid mattes. Uh, you know, they really last. I get asked a lot of questions, which is the most long lasting liquid lipstick in the world. I would say the Maybelline one because you can eat, you can drink and it'll just stay put. Uh, the same thing goes with this, I would say, for a liquid lipstick, a glossy liquid lipstick, this is extremely long lasting. But there's a method to the madness. So you have to shake it properly, really, really shake it properly. And then you've got to apply that on your lips and you have to wait for the first coating to kind of like dry down a bit before you go with the second coating. If you just layer it immediately, then it becomes so sticky and it uh, feels very heavy on the lips at the same time. Since a lot of people have been asking me questions about this, so I just thought I'll swatch it for you. Um, Maybelline is not cruelty free, so keep that in mind. They sent me Red Hot and Witty and Red Hot is this very vibrant red, but not very pigmented unless you go with it two times you won't get that full saturated color witty also is the same so you really have to apply these lipsticks twice to get that full saturated color but witty is definitely a beautiful cool toned uh, mauve pink it's more of a mauve out here uh, it's got that slight lavender purple tones coming through it is going to flatter most skin tones especially deeper darker skin tones it's beautiful this color and as you can see there's that slight shine coming through which stays for a very very long time when you drink when you eat it uh, the shine transfers but the lipstick stays and that's what's impressive about it uh, you can definitely sense the lipstick sitting on your lips not going to lie you will be irritated with that because it kind of like has that that tacky feel to it, which I'm not very happy about, uh, but because it's so long lasting and if you're looking out for a long lasting glossy sheen, because most of the glosses go all over the lips and it's a messy affair when you apply gloss, you have to wait for it to dry down before you go on with the second coat and that's when you're going to see that sheen a little more. Now you can see the gloss, so you have to go on with it twice. That's with all of their lipsticks. Other than that, it's not my favorite launch from Maybelline. See if on the inner corner of your lips, you can feel it, it becomes tackier. But if you're looking out for a cruelty-free version of this, it is slightly expensive and that comes from Urban Decay. They have come out with exactly the same lipstick. You have to make sure that you have to shake it really well before using it and you'll get that glossy sheen. It's just that this is budget-friendly and not everybody has got the budget to buy and spend on makeup. So yeah, but talking about lip glosses, let me show you this lip gloss from Essence Cosmetics and you know Essence Mascara the Lash Princess is my absolute favorite and many of them are dupes of high-end makeup as well this is the extreme shine lip gloss and guys please get your hands on this do not sleep on this you guys because most of the time this is sold out uh, when I saw this I was like oh my god I can't believe that they have launched so many Essence makeup so many it's just not the Lash Princess out here they've got a variety of makeup under the brand uh, let me show you how this work so the shade that I got you can pick up any shade and it'll go like a clear gloss on your lips and it is gel like non sticky non tacky and the shine is incredible like I mentioned it reminds me so much of the Fenty lip gloss oh I can feel that lipstick on the inner rims of my lips it's quite an irritating lipstick the Maybelline one so I got zero to summer punch it reflects light beautifully it makes your lips look like glass oh it's such an excellent excellent lip gloss there's more stuff let's move on the next item is another one that you need to put in your shopping cart you guys can you see my nails look how beautiful those nails are 
Now, chrome nails has become glazed nails. We have had chrome nails forever, but Hailey Bieber, Justin Bieber's wife, does the chrome nail effect and it becomes glazed donut nails, okay, or glazed nails, whatever it's called. And when I put a reel on Instagram, my Insta family came through and it sold out. <laughs> People saved it, they went straight to Nika and they bought it and it sold out. But apparently it's come back in stock again. This is OPI Nail Lacquer in the shade Rosy Future. It gives you that similar chrome effect, that glazed effect. It is so, so beautiful. No lie, it's one of my best discoveries. I think it complements all sort of skin tone. It's one of the most prettiest pink. I'm just going to insert a clip of the reel out here so that you can see a close-up of it. It uh, reflects light so beautifully. It gives such a nice finish to your nails. It's that perfect pink nail polish for wedding season, especially if you're a bride-to-be. And these two, they're worth the money. From Essence, I picked up two mascaras. One is my Lash Princess. My Lash Princess that I had, which you've seen me use for all my tutorials, dried up. It's old right now, and every three months I toss away my mascara because that's what you need to do. Uh, so when I saw this at Nykaa, like I said, they've got so many Essence makeup right now at the website. I restocked on this. And it also has a waterproof formulation. The one that is not waterproof is green, and the waterproof one is blue, but it gives you that same length volume. It's one of the best budget-friendly mascara uh, that you can get your hands on. I also got the Essence False Lashes Extreme Volume and Curl. This is also another mascara that I started using very recently after I bought this from Nykaa and it really helps to curl my lashes really well. Or you know what, just pick up these two because it's very budget-friendly. You can do one coat of this for that length and you can do another coat of this for volume as well as for that curl. And my god, your lashes are going to give that false lash effect. The best mascara so i had to stock up on these two as well so let's move to the next one and that is the nika all day matte foundation uh, i'm in the shade 08 olive and i have spoken about this on my reel as well as on youtube shorts and i have uh, done a small mini review on this this is an excellent foundation from nika they just need to be a little more inclusive and this really impressed me because it has that very beautiful buildable coverage it stays matte on the skin uh, it is not too drying nor is it too glowy if you have oily skin you'll definitely enjoy this they've got uh, quite a number of shades but they can definitely expand on their shade range because they've got the budget but i'm in the shade 08 and i feel that there's more beige tones and neutral tones than warm tones and i expected this though 08 olive has got that warm undertone to it i wanted it to be a lot more warmer this still comes across as a neutral shade on my skin so probably i'll have to go for 09 because i feel that the undertone is very very limited i want more warm undertones more neutral undertones uh, so that everyone can enjoy it and when they do increase the undertones as well as the shade range i feel they'll have a foundation that will sell out completely if you're looking out for a very good uh, foundation that is non-comedogenic guys they have done a very good job out here so we've got three more things and they're all for eye makeup uh, the first one is inglot number 77 guys you know what i went for the forever 52 uh, gel also so I picked up this beautiful chocolate brown gel shade from forever 52 and I don't know how much to believe when it comes to their reviews because when you do the filters and you want to know the best sellers this comes in the top list and this did not stay on my oily lids and I've got very oily lids and, and I have tried many gel eyeliners like the Inglot number 77 is my ultimate and that is why I went and repurchased it again. But this one you guys it really took time for it to dry but the color um, look at that brown shade oh it's it's delicious it's lush so this takes a lot of time to dry down and this is something that I will apply as an eyeshadow base you know that's what I would use this for because I definitely saw it transfer so I'm quite disappointed to be honest because I've heard so many good things and going by the review everybody loves this but Inglot number 77 the blackest gel eyeliner I have ever come across and there's no other gel eyeliner as black as this I have tried it all liquid eyeliners I've tried cool uh, pencils 
this one still beats all of them this is my ultimate favorite it lasts it will only come out with a cleansing balm once it sets it's not going to budge at all i've got oily eyelids it really stays or no matter what the humidity level out here is the on a video i did with jovita the collaboration if you guys missed it out then i'm just going to insert a little glimpse out here and i will leave the link in the info bar so that you can check out that reel or the youtube shot there was so much fun and i remember applying that early morning until i got back pretty late actually it just sustained and it was black and it was matte as ever and when it goes on an offer or you have someone coming from abroad guys just pick up number 77 from inglot so we've got two more products this is nyx thick it stick it so this is an eyebrow gel now my ultimate favorite one from nyx is this one the brow glue in jan before leaving London is when I bought this and it has lasted me up till now. You need this ever so slightly on your eyebrows and your eyebrow will not budge. So this is another eyebrow gel that I saw that went completely viral on Reels. I was quite curious to try it out. Um, I'm not enjoying it as much as the super glue one. This has got a longer wand and it's got these tiny fibers. I don't know if you can see. It's got these really tiny fibers that stick to your eyebrows to give you that full look. I think it works really well if you've got thicker eyebrows. If you've got thin eyebrows like mine, it becomes a messy affair which I'm not too happy about. Uh, so how I've been working with it lately uh, and I got the shade black because brown, both the browns were sold out. Basically you don't need any other eyebrow setting glue when you apply this one because it'll set and it'll uh, add a little more hair fibers to your non-existent eyebrow. That's what I thought but it was a little bit of a messy affair. There must be a reason why it went completely viral on TikTok. So I'm going to give this a chance once again. You know this thickening brow must Cara. and I should keep you posted on this maybe in a tutorial we can try using all of this I got another one the last product is this chrome from forever 52 okay so this one is the forever 52 chrome liquid eyeshadow I don't know what shade this one is from what my really weak eyesight can see it's trans dance I'm getting old you guys so this one this liquid eyeshadow it's got that beautiful chrome effect it gives you specks of green specks of gold oh it is stunning so when you turn different different colors just appear you know on your eyelids and it dries down really quickly on your waterline you can just smoke it out and you're good to go loads of mascara and you your entire eye makeup is done so this is that liquid eyeshadow for lazy people and my ultimate liquid eyeshadows that give the same effect comes from Danessa Myricks one of my favorite liquid eyeshadow for that chrome effect and this is a good enough dupe so if you can't get your hands on Danessa Myricks then please try this one from forever 52 I know my camera is not doing justice it's showing gold but from far you will see gold little bit of green almost like a chartreuse color and sometimes you will see that it leaves gaps in between on your eyelids once it dries up and you have to you know tap on little more product on top of those gaps other than that I have nothing to complain about because it's a beautiful color and when you take a black eyeshadow and you just smoke it out on the outer corner of your eyelids Ooh, baby it looks brilliant so that is my Nika haul you guys if you'd like me to do more such videos then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it's extremely important you guys there are giveaways happening on my channel this is the best time for you to hit that red button be a part of my family and I shall see you in my next one until later bye for now